hello guys welcome back to my channel so today in this video i'm going to teach you how to make tuan shinkafa yes tuan shinkafa also known as rice fufu so this is normally the rice for tuan shinkafa this is how it looks like very white but today we are using foreign rice you can use local rices all good so this is my rice here and i'll go ahead and wash this and rinse it off so that we can soak it for about four to five hours you know four to five hours so if you're making this at night you know in the evening i advise you to soak it from morning to that period you want to use it so this is how it looks like after soak you know it has dissolved in water and it's very soft just like the normal rice for tuan shinkava is normal rice for tuan shinkava is very soft unlike you know this foreign or local rice and i'll be putting it into my pot and be adding water to my desired amount so when adding water you want to also know the type of rice you're using you know if your rice is the one that usually likes a lot of water when you're cooking it then you will be adding a little bit more of water but if your rice is not then you just be adding a small amount of water and that's just it and be in a and the heat here yeah, should be in a medium low heat medium low heat so you can see here my rice is going fine i decided to check and see and it's just going well i decided to just take some to see if i need to add more extra water but no i don't need any more water so i just close it back and here the rice is almost done it's almost soaked all the water so i here i'll be showing you guys how soft you see how soft it is which means i don't need to add any more water and i'm good to go so yes Let's keep this for a few more minutes for it to also up and it's time for pounding. So let's check again. So I checked it with a spoon deep down. I saw there's no more water, which means my rice is done and fully cooked. And so now it's time for pounding it and let's make tuition cover. So come with me as I pound this. So you can use anything that you use to pound, you know, your tool at home. This is the, my type of one I use. So yes, we we'll just be doing it like that. Gently, gently, just, you know, just keep pounding, turn it around so that everything can mix and combine well together. You don't want any lumps of rice. You just want everything to pound. So just like that, you just keep pounding. And occasionally you'll be turning it and mixing it around just to be turning it around so everything will just mix together just be doing just as you see here in this video as i'm doing you know just to make sure all the rice are all pound very well and they're all well done you know so that your tonshi kaba will not be you don't want to eat and i will not just start seeing rice you know one touch cover to be very soft and very swallowing so you have to pound it really well and make sure every rice is pounded the only is a swallow so it must be very soft so all the rice must be pounded very well just like this you know just keep turning around just like you do your normal fufu at home just do your thing and make sure everything is well pounded So at this point, I'm done pounding and I see that my rice is good and I'm okay with the texture right now. So I'll just be scooping everything out and it's time for serving. So we're putting my rice in the nylon and serve, you know. I 
I want serving this, you know, you serve it to a desired size. This is the size we normally do, so this is the size I'm going to do as always. You know, you can do it small, small ones, you can do it this big, just do your thing, any one that you like and you know you're okay with. Just turn it like that and you're good to go. Let's do another one. Remember, just do your thing and yeah, you're good to go. Yes, and this is it. I'm done with everything as you can see. It looks well. It's really big, but you know, that's how we do it here in my house. You can just do your normal size, the size you like. This is it. I'm about to save it. Yes, yes, yes. And rice. Just look at that rice. It turned into Tuanshi Kafa. And guys, I served it with my chicken pepper soup. Hey, yeah. This was so, so delicious. I look at that salt. Yes, yes, yes. So I have the link for this pepper soup that I made down in the description box. I want to check it out. Yes, guys, this pepper soup was so, so good. And taking it with the rice, fufu, trench and kappa was really, really great. So, thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, and share. I will see you next time. Bye-bye.